Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I would like to share what I am being uh, trying to prepare for the homeless. I am donating this box and I have another box that I'm going to fill with uh, knit or crocheted, uh, crocheted uh, uh, hats. Just trying to figure out what else I can do. I started an afghan. I don't know if I can have time to finish it. But um, yeah, so there's going to be another box ready. And uh, just wanted to share. These are from my Etsy shop that I have knit. And I'm just giving it away. Giving it away. It's for the homeless again. Uh, these are like wool. This is mohair wool. And uh, just wanted to give it to the people that who needs them instead of sitting in my shop so I try to uh, figure out what should I give and it's tough because you don't know I don't know what they need mostly they need blankets and they need uh, hats and scarves okay so here's another sweater that I, this is 100% wool again it's going to be soft for someone who needs it I have the tags, the price, they can take it off. It's wool. This would fit for medium to extra large. It's pretty nice and warm. So I'm hoping someone will enjoy the sweater. So, and here's a hat. I'll put this uh, where the hat box that I'm going to. Okay, here's a scarf that I have uh, crocheted. I used a crocodile stitch. And this is, well, it's not 100% more mohair, but I think it's 70% mohair and the rest is acrylic. So uh, this would, it's pretty long. It's a pretty long scarf. So, yeah, it goes. I hope, uh, tried to pick, I tried to pick the, color for men I don't know if there's homeless women but uh, I, f I if there is I picked a poncho to keep them more warm this is a blend of wool again uh, acrylic I believe and I had the price down so this would fit small to even up to large size yeah these are very bulky one, two, three, four only. Yeah, and then it, and then I crocheted this top with you guys. I did a tutorial. This is cotton blend cotton. So again, I, I believe this would be for women. I don't know if this would warm it up though, but maybe they can wear it in the summer. It's pretty long. I, I'll put a picture here so you can see. Uh, it's hard to open it when it when it's uh, <laughs> folded to show it off. But yeah, so far I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is pretty bulky. Four, five, and the box is full. Yeah. I don't know if I can put, maybe if I have, uh, I'll put a couple of shawls. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm going to share you what I have already donated. <laughs> and uh, I will uh, go back to my laptop and show you the pictures they have posted. So they're trying to sell what they have uh, received and uh, make money, I guess, for, for the ones that need. So I will come back and show you that. I forgot to show you this cardigan. I'm donating this, but what I'm going to do is because it's pretty heavy. It's, I, it's a hand spun dyed wool, 100% wool. I'm going to make hats out of this. So I'm going to frog it and make hats because like I said, it's pretty bulky. And I had this pin. <laughs> I, uh, if you watch my flower um, loom, uh, I did it that way. And then I made this. If you have a flower loom that you have purchased from me if not you can go to my Etsy shop and purchase it so I made a flower out of that and it turned out pretty good so it's a very easy to make this 
but you need the flower loom. Well, I'll show you the flower loom. I have one here. Here's the flower loom. I bought these from Turkey when I was there and I'm selling it to my Etsy shop because these are really hard to find. And uh, yeah, you, you can make flowers, shawls, blankets, anything with these. So I may, I use this to make this just to show that off. Yeah, so I'm gonna be making hats with this yarn and it's gorgeous. Uh, it's thick and it's warm. <laughs> so they can use it up the hats instead of you know this has been sitting in my shop I don't know how many years now no one has bought it I guess they didn't like it that's all I think right if it's not sold that means no one liked it and it was a plus size yeah. <laughs> okay here is I had to ship this to Nova Scotia and it was a pretty big box yeah, this time I wanted the local to have them pick it up because the box cost me $82 to ship it. Yeah, and uh, fortunately, if you don't have the money, you can't ship it, right? But yeah, so uh, this, the one that they're going to come and pick it up, it's going to be great. So two box, I was uh, thinking 82 82 I'm saving money <laughs> just to ship it. Yeah, these are donations, so I'm giving them from my heart to the people that who needs them. So this was for the Sexual Health Center in Nova Scotia. And you can go and check it out if you want to donate. Yeah. And here's a bolera that I have knit from, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not eyelash, but it's, uh, it's those uh, fuzzy yarn. And I, I marked it to this. So if you want to buy it, you're welcome to go and buy it. It would be help. Help for the ones that who needs them. I will put the link below. So this is the one I donated. And here's the hat that I, I did a tutorial with you guys. So I donated one of them. I have another gray color that's on my Etsy shop. Yeah. And here is a hand spun Angora rabbit yarn that I have hand spun and dyed. I have a tutorial for that. So this has uh, been sitting in my uh, Etsy shop. I sold a couple of these black um, hand uh, dyed uh, boleras that I have knit. So this is the one that I have donated. So they mo I marked, I was selling them for 200 so it fits small to medium size. And uh, they marked it for 150 And here's a cardigan that I have crocheted years ago. And I tried to sell it at my Etsy shop, but unfortunately didn't. This was like oh, 200 and I marked it to 100 and I marked it to 50 So this was the last price, and this is what they're charging. So again, you can welcome to go and buy it. <laughs> and then here's a sweater that I have knit. It's a uh, blend with wool, mohair yarn. And uh, yeah, the, I marked it down, it didn't sell, so I donated. At least people can use it, right? Well, they're gonna sell it, and then the funds they're gonna use it. Hopefully they, it will sell. And here's a shawl that I have donated. I don't remember if I did a tutorial. This was years ago I made, I think 2013 or 14, I can't remember. So I marked this down to 40. And then, yeah, you can't buy, Oh. That went close. <laughs> Can't buy the yarn for that price, but here's the uh, slippers that I have donated. Yeah. Kids, they put a kid slipper, but it actually it was for adults. They, they look small, but they do stretch a lot. So yeah, they're charging 15, so it's a great deal. And here's a shawl. I made a tutorial with you guys. Yeah, the mohair yarn. The yarns are expensive. That's the thing. <laughs> and here's another shawl that I made. It's red, wool, and uh, acrylic blend. Yeah, it's a great price. I I marked this for two hundred. It went down to fifty. And here's my, uh, I, I made these like lots and lots of this cream and black and uh, uh, black and red. So yeah, I was selling these for 100 and it went down to 40. So I just donated, I had last two, here's another shawl. It's 
For 15 only? Can you believe it? Can't buy anything on for that price. Yeah. Here's the... I was showing this uh, slippers that I made and uh, I felted it because it was uh, I knitted it with I crocheted it with hundred percent wool, so uh, <laughs> turned out perfect. But it was too small for me, and I did it with the eyelash. So I hope someone whoever buys this for fifteen dollar can you believe it? You can't buy the yarn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here's the black and uh, red that I had. Uh, I sold lots of these. Yeah, and I only had two left, so I just donated that. And here is my mohair sweater I have knitted years ago. And I put it on my Etsy shop since 2009. No one bought it. Yeah, this was like over $250, 250 and it went down to 80 And still no one didn't buy it. So I said to myself, hopefully it will sell and they will make money out of it. They're only selling it for 60 so it's a great deal. These are brand new, never been used. So just to point that out. And that's all from me. So I have donated this. This is, the I think they received it last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, and I'm going to be making for the homeless. And I will work on that. And I am going to show you tutorials on how to uh, knit, crochet, hats. So just to give you, uh, give you the heads up. So stay tuned for those. Yeah, I just wanted to share you my, um, my, uh, my donations and uh, what I have been uh, working on lately. So I'm going to be working on the hats, <laughs> which hopefully I will share it with you for the tutorials. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. Happy crocheting, happy knitting. I hope you liked this short video that I just wanted to share. And uh, again, uh, if I would love to hear your feedback. If you are making anything for the homeless, donating anything, I would like to hear from you what you are making so I can get an idea for some quick things because the 22nd is like next week, I believe. Uh, I don't have much time and I just found this out like a couple of days ago and I'm just hurrying up to make hats because I don't have many hats and... Uh, the, like I said, my uh, on the previous video, I did say uh, most of my yarns are colorful, bright, and uh, yeah, no one wants to work. Want, I don't think anyone would want something like this bright green <laughs> or bright red. Yeah, so I need to work for men, for males, mostly. Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out what to make. So if you have any ideas, please share with me on the comments, and I have I will get an idea. And start working on them and uh, I will start working next after this I will start uh, uh, for next year <laughs> have a great day goodbye